Hi, it's Juliet. Today we're going to talk about how to divide bird of paradise plants. Many of you have asked me to make the video about this and today is the day. Why would we want to divide the plant? If we want to have more arrangements than just one plant and one pot or if your plant outgrew its planter but you do not have a space for an extra large pot to repot your plant so the plant can be divided and potted in a few different pots. If this is your first time here, I'm the founder of My City Plants. I am here on this channel sharing tips, tricks and my experience with you so you can grow healthy and happy plants. All right, so here I have three different sized birds of paradise. The smallest plant was in 10 inch nursery pot, the medium sized plant was in 12 inch nursery pot, and the largest plant was in 14 inch nursery pot. You can see how large and thicker roots are on the larger plant, plus this plant here has four stems. So each stem is a separate plant. So there is a separate root system for each stem. Here we only have two stems and you can see that there is more thinner, finer roots where here we have also three stems and roots are not even entwined yet. So I am going to work today and divide the smallest plant and the largest to show you how you can do it. Once I'm done separating plants, I will have four different bird of paradise arrangements. How cool is that? I have 11 inch pot here, I have 14 inch pot, I have 12 inch pot and eight inch pot. And these are gonna be my new arrangements. I will need very sharp tools to make this happen. This is why I have a big sharp knife, smaller knife and pair of scissors. And it's very important, I have alcohol. We need to disinfect, clean the tools well before cutting any roots to avoid any infection or any other issues. I'm going to start with the smallest plant. This, there are three plants in here. You see the three stalks and they are still pretty young so it's going to be very easy to separate them. I'm not going to need any tools. I can do it with my fingers. Let me just remove the soil to expose the roots and see what we have here. You see how easy it just comes out. So this is plant, this is plant number one. Let's see if this is actually two plants or the two stems growing from the same root system. Yeah, it looks like I have, yeah. This is one plant with two stems. Oh, less work for me. Done, two plants. Now let's move to the big guy. That will be, of course, much challenging. It's much more mature plant. There are four uh, stocks in this arrangement and I am sure while they were growing all the roots are entwined. So it's not gonna be easy just pulling them apart. We will need to use the tools to cut them up. So let me just get the soil out first so I can see what I need to work with. You see how thick the roots are and they're all bundled up here and there is no spacing in between. So I can't just simply pull it apart as I did with a younger plant. All right, I think I removed enough soil. Let me clean up and I'll be right back. All right, let's 
clean our tools and get to work. I will start with the smallest stock. Most likely it'll be easier just to remove by hand because I see it doesn't have a ladder root system. So I will definitely try to remove it first. Yeah, out. No cutting needed. Roots are very healthy. This is my other plant. All right, so let's see what's gonna happen here. You don't have to be afraid to cut the roots. It is not harmful to plant. Yes, it's going to go into a shock after being handled and, you know, separated and cut, but it will recover, I guarantee you. So let's try and see if I can do it with one single cut. Okay, this side. Done. Now I'm going to move to the other side. Again, guys, very important to use sharp knives. Look. Very good. Healthy system. We have all these roots here. Beautiful. Plant number two out of this pot. Okay, now we're going into this baby. And of course, it is better to cut between the stems, not this way, but this way. So you don't damage too many roots. Yeah, a cutting bread. You see, when you have good tools, it's all easy. So now, it's all out. Of course, I will check the roots to see if there are any mushy, damaged, or if there are any fungus, this plant looks very healthy. So it's all good. The next step will be to pot these plants in their own pot. Okay, I will start potting smaller plant. The plant I have divided Earlier, again, it's a much younger plant. If your pot is not deep enough, you still can prune more roots back. Let me show you. Again, very sharp tool, disinfected. So let's say this pot is not deep enough for this root wall. You can simply cut roots back. I would not recommend removing more than 20% of the roots. We do not want to shock the plant any further and weaken its system. So you see this way, it is a little shorter and you can use a planter if your planter is not deep enough to give a more space for the roots. I will pot a single stem plant in an eight inch clay pot and this double stem in a lechuza self-watering planter. So this planter is eight inch and this planter is 11 inch, but the inner diameter for potting is only nine inch. This is a good size for this two plants. So let's start with a smaller baby. By the way, guys, if you want to learn more about Lechuza self-watering planters, you should visit our playlist called Lechuza self-watering planters to see different planter types, to learn how the subrogation system works and how to grow plants in these planters. Next one, double stem. I already have two arrangements made. Moving to the big guy. Out of four plants that I 
cut out of that 14 inch nursery uh, part, I will make two arrangements with double stamps. And I will start making an arrangement in Lechuza Silver and Classical Planter. It's 14 inch planter, but the actual potting space is 11 and a half inches. And again, guys, you can watch a lot of videos about these awesome planters, and I will provide the link in the video description. Let me see which, which one I should combine together. Maybe I'll do this too. Will this work? Yay. That's pretty. All right. By the way, we have the whole playlist devoted just to the birds of paradise. So if you want to learn how to trim leaves, how to prune the plant, how to add support to its stalks, go visit that playlist. And again, link will be in the video description. Last two stems are going into a cubicle planter. Again, it's a self-watering planter, 12 by 12 inch diameter, but actual potting space is only 11 inches. Again, I'm gonna take the inner part out and leave the cover. The cover works like a stand, so it allows me to elevate the plant. So it's going to be the highest, I mean, the tallest arrangement out of them all. And I can go to potting. What do you think, guys? Look, now I have four different arrangements. I'm so happy, it looks beautiful, right? Now, after we tortured the plant a little bit, pruned it, divided and potted, it, it needs to get a really, really good watering. So I'm gonna start with the little guy. And as I go along, I just wanna tell you that plants will go through some level of shock and the signs of the shock would be some leaf yellowing, maybe some droopiness. Whatever leaves get affected, you can simply cut them. Don't panic, the plant will stabilize with proper love and care, and will start growing new leaves for you. On average, bird of paradise plants need to be repotted once every two years. It's considered to be a fast, growing plants, so keep it in mind, don't let it get too root-bound. I have recently made a video about how to repot root-bound bird of paradise, what this plant needs to grow happy and healthy, what issues you need to look for, so definitely check that video out if you want to learn how to grow this plant successfully. Let me just do another quick watering to make sure the soil is well saturated. To finish it up, I'm gonna give my new plant arrangements and myself a little refreshment of some cool water just to help them to deal with all these changes. It's so good for your skin. I am done for today. I hope you see how easy it is to divide these gorgeous plants and I hope you like what I have created over here. So please hit like if you find this video helpful and you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please use the comments below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.